Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. It is time again for another episode of Takamaru Hatana, your number one source for all stupid discussions and random talk from <laughs> the Japanese forums. Uh, I'm your host, S. Ferris, and in the studio today we have Sanrio for the first time. We're number one! Yes, and Turbo 86 from everywhere. Hi. Hello, so a lot of interesting things to talk about today. Why don't you take it away, Turbo? Yes, first of all, <laughs> uh, summer, so what what do we usually do in the summertime? Eat ice cream. Barbecue. Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> Go to the beach and swim. I don't swim. Okay, yeah, good answer. <laughs> okay, well, somebody, somebody else we're interested does. Okay. And you should be interested. So, apparently, um, according to uh, one of the recent... The that was um one, one two, two three, three release yeah. one two three release events during one of the MCs. Uh, Kudo Haluka told everyone that she used to be a um, pretty good swimmer. Who um, she participated in the um, her um, what is this? Re um, prefecture? Right. Prefecture region? Yeah. Um, not just the prefecture; it's the Kanto area. It's okay, the whole so. Kanto region. Okay, so it's like the the big Tokyo region with the all the, prefe uh, the prefecture around it. It's a big competition. In, in, imagine it like that. So she used to um, be in that and participated in in a few few of the events, right? Yeah. I think she only did one event. Well, one, but I mean, she she went in a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, she does the uh, the breaststroke. Yay. Her, her best, yes. It's apparently her um her best her style, I think. I guess. And this was um in two thousand ten. So that was when she was how old was she back then? Ten? Ten, right. Ten. She's twelve now. Alright, yeah, that makes right. sense. And so she was swimming in the nine to ten year old division. That makes sense too. <laughs> Just have to point that out. Yeah, so um, so after hearing that, all the people on um, all the otas, they they did their best Google searches. It's scary she, how fast they found this though. Yeah, it was like within hours after she said it. Yeah, there was so much info on the internet. It was it's very scary. So they looked her up and found all her um swimming stats of of what competition she was uh she has participated in what results and um, what teammate she has and what from what um team she was on yeah <laughs> very scary she, she won she won right she won what i she think won the whole all thing, the... Right? no i think from one of the <laughs> one of the lists she won one of the heats and that's about it that's not that's not bad that's pretty impressive to win a whole heat by yourself yeah, but that's. Yeah. I think that was the um, probably a qualifier. Yeah, the first qualifying heat, and then she didn't advance much higher after that. Oh. If I remember correctly, reading the. I'll take the, that victory. That's still pretty story. good. Good job, okay. Haruka. Yeah. 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 But in one of the results, um, she was posted as qualified. <laughs> <laughs> I bet she got into a fight with the person next to her in the next lane. It was Mazan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she kept punching her. <laughs> so, can you shut up? <laughs> yeah, she was the only girl that got uh, disqualified during that uh, competition for that time, so <laughs> I don't know what happened oh. there. She is the type that I think would like do free flying in a row. So. I, or, or, I think she just didn't show up. <laughs> <laughs> Why would she not show up? <laughs> It's, uh, it's kind of a big thing, isn't it? Because well, she, she has to go to work? I mean, yeah, if, if we want to, we can probably search up the date and see if that overlapped with any events. Oh yeah, there was a Shinjin Cohen on that day. <laughs> <laughs> Shinodome, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It's yeah. not Shinodome, it was, um, it was in April. So. Was it in oh. April? Looks April, like it's in April. Well, March, the, uh, it could have been a Shinjin Cohen. April may be a stage play. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. 
Oh man, we are so pro. Yeah, that, that's pretty awesome. We're, yeah, we're so gross. Yeah. Yeah, so she likes swimming. Yeah. Um, also from the MC, actually, it was pretty cool. She said she really was rooting for, uh, if you're watching the Olympics right now, uh, what's her name? Watanabe Kanako, the supposedly 15 year old star swimmer who also does the breaststroke. Um, for Japan, and unfortunately, she did pretty bad in oh, nah. the semifinals um, uh, this yesterday. I think uh, she just got nervous or something, but yeah, she's trying, she she like second to last. Oh really? Wow. That's well, but she's fifteen, so she can 15, have yeah. a lot of tries in the future. I bet Haruka can beat her the eventually. The she ballpark. kept training. <laughs> what? <laughs> Haruka can beat. Uh... Yeah, she's Olympic level swimmer, man. What? Again? Olympic, you Okay. Know? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just Olympic level cute. Yes. What? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Um, <laughs> next topic. This one's kind of interesting uh, because of a lot of things that have been going on recently, specifically uh, in this year. Um, this thread was brought up, and the title of the thread is Why are the image colors for the morning sumo members so important uh, what's up with that and so the first post was saying um, this is weird because back when it was like in the nachi era or the gotomaki era uh, member colors wasn't really that big of a thing and um, it seems to have started around cute time or something um, yeah. yeah and then all of a sudden now that we've gone for this year like the whole eddie pond switching from purple to p green just for gaki and then now ikubo with her brown graduation and now switching to honey uh it seemed like the fans are kind of, well a certain group of fans are thinking like the member color thing might be getting too important when it really shouldn't be that big of an issue um why not why not i don't know um like I guess if you're one of the really old fans that came from like maybe third fourth gen and you're like yeah. you know you never really stayed by color it's more like st you support the girl instead of the color like I don't know uh well they should be all be in M line right now those people <laughs> yeah they <laughs> should not be following Ikbo and any point they sh should not be complaining yeah that too um so that that was that was going on discussion a bit and then also um, in response to the initial poster a couple of people are saying well actually it was just UFA um, basically copying Momino Clover because yeah, yeah well that's what they're saying um, because um, if you know Momino Clover they started no, <laughs> kind of this Sentai <laughs> image thing uh, and their, their second PV um, Ikse Kaito Shoujo uh, was when they debuted this kind of five member like Power Ranger style color thing. Well, they six people back then. So, oh, who cares? Who cares? Whatever. Five, yeah. six people. Yeah. yeah. Um, right. And and so some of the fans were saying, well, morning. Well, Hello Project just kind of copied them with with how they went with the color scheme thing. Yeah. Right. And like how it was so tied with each of the individual girls uh, because they, they did that Sentai theme. <laughs> right. So that's... Well, if, they say, if they said Barry's, Barry's comment copy, then maybe, but that's... Unless Barry's comment goes back further back than 2000 as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, so nice try, cool. haters. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. For for reference, the Momoto Clover PV came out um, May 5th of 2010. Yep. Um, why don't you guys break down kind of the timeline? Um, yeah, Morning Musume had more, well. Morning Musume <laughs> had uh, members colors. Um, they had members color back in as early as 2005, 2006, but it, they never made it stick or uh, made it very important until Kohala joined the group, and that was still way before 2010. So right. I don't, so I don't see what, what basis do these uh, haters have right. to bring up something so recent to go against that, and also the um. The, the Power Rangers Sentai thing. Barry did it years before Momo Ilo Clover did. 
So they have nothing. So yeah, so it makes no sense why they're it's, using this as a point. It's probably like new fans or like Smilage fans saying this. Just, oh, yeah. just haters. Probably. Um, Cause uh, yeah, I mean, if you think about it, 2010. That's pretty recent in terms of like Morning Musume history. Even though it may not be that recent for Momokuro history. Yep. Yeah. So it's it's kind of weird that they would. Um, but I mean, it's kind of it's interesting how they would say. Maybe it's not that they um, copied the idea, but or I mean that they. Uh, wanted to copy the idea but they saw and then they liked it or something and like it was working out for Momo Clover because now that they're kind of popular yeah and maybe that's just why they're saying it um, interesting thing uh, so if you guys have been keeping up with the uh, morning Sumi news um, they were on Itomo I think yesterday or the day before yeah and um, in the regular TV form of Nichan Everyone was like, whoa, whoa, who are these girls? Uh, <laughs> their outfits are exact oh. copies of Momo Clover. What? Uh. Oh, maybe this is why. And that's that's possible. Well, that, uh, the, I mean, because Itomo came out like, a couple days after this thread came out, so okay. maybe they're related, but um, yeah, everyone was Maybe like, it's just um, regular people's reaction. It, it seems like it, because Probably. I guess Momo Clover has that strong color image. I don't know. Yeah, and they're, mo they're more mainstream now. Momoyo cover, they're more mainstream and more well known, I guess. I wouldn't say they're more well known, they're probably about the same as Morning Musume. But they're, but they're having like concerts at bigger places, don't they? I don't know. Um, who cares? Yeah. It's Momoyo oh, yeah. cover. Who cares? Who yeah. cares? That's <laughs> yeah. the correct answer. Yeah. Yeah. Ten points. No, I think the reason is um, how Momoyo uh, Momo cover, they used to, they stressed their members' color a lot, even in, when they're. Out oh, in the public and uh, right. doing their videos. Morning Musume only done a couple of videos where they used relatively close to their um, well, one, two, three. They did, right, but um, right, right. other videos they they don't really do that unless you go to the concerts. Then you know whose color is who. Right. So right. maybe well, if you buy the good, yeah. Good, yeah. That's what well, goes with the concert. So I guess maybe for normal people who are not um, big fans or just casual fans and. It comes off as uh, Mobile Hero started it first, or that kind of makes sense because like yeah. normal PV outfits are generally not color based for Hello Project. It's just kind of um, stupid. Yeah, although only <laughs> only recently it's gotten kind of really heavily like even uh, Cute started doing kind of heavy on the colors. The member yeah. color. Oh, if you yeah, do it's like, it's like one, just do, yeah. Do it once or twice, it's fine. Not like how Momo Momo yeah, grows just, they every video. Right. Oh, look, I'm a Saku. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm green. Right. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Momo Hero cover, they, they took it to the point where, like, they 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 feel more like cosplaying to me. They are cosplaying. They are. The cosplaying stuff that makes no sense. <laughs> yeah, so I'm so, so I'm glad that, you know, Molly Musume is not falling into that. Yeah, we, we take the colors, but we don't take it to the point where like they become the personalities or they become like the, the they become the thing for the girl so well, people know it's yeah. it's interesting because like with the ikebo announcement and the eddie point announcement it's it's kind of feels like it is starting to become a, a bit more important than it used to be yeah it is more important well for eddie Pond, you know we all know that she got her special personal reason that you know which is kind of she, silly she just but... want yeah she just want to be in green, <laughs> because yes. of Gaxa. Yeah. But Ikbo, I don't know. M maybe she, she just really wants glow sticks. <laughs> yeah, she, <laughs> she's sick of seeing these like poorly made brown glow sticks. Yeah. Yeah, there's that. Plus, like right now, Ikbo, she still hasn't had a chance to really develop any characters yet. Yes, she has. So. She has a uh, a lot of characters. She has like thing. the JoJo thing, and then like the mature complementing character. But the weird personality. And the weird personality, yeah. But yeah. with the high pitched voice. So it's like. Oh, yeah. 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 So, GAP in H. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I still think that is, it is early enough for her, for, for Ikubo, that she can make a big deal of things like these. I guess. I mean, yeah, it's oh. it's been less than a year. Yeah. She can do whatever, I guess. Yeah, true. Well, why do you guys think that it got more important then? I don't know. 
I think no, it's, it's kind of silly just though. The, just the two of them that makes it important. Yeah. You ask the other girls, they don't seem to like they care about their colors. Ah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I like if you ask Nina, I think she would rather take pink than blue. Yeah, she's like, oh, pink. Uh, I like pink more, but uh, blue's a nice color. That's all <laughs> yeah. she answers. Uh, uh, I like white too, but. Uh, what? Yeah. Let, let's not take the white color. No, let's not do white. Yeah. Never. So, yeah. Um, Momoclua did not start the color thing. And uh, Hello Project did. The end. We win! Yay! Yay! <laughs> yeah! Uh, next topic. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Fan letters. So, there was an interesting thread um, a couple of days ago. It was talking about how. Uh, kind of with the whole change in technology and change in the times, um, fans who write fan letters to the girls, uh, that thing doesn't seem to be as popular anymore, or doesn't seem to be as common anymore, because with all the girls getting blogs nowadays, uh, all the fans seem to be just leaving comments on their blog posts, and that seems to be kind of the primary form of communication uh, outside of events. Um, and uh, like real in-person interaction. Um, and so this was interesting because uh, the people in the thread were talking about, or they were wondering if any of the fans anywhere um, within Japan or outside still write fan letters like the old fashioned way. And it kind of got to talking. It, it seems like people don't do it anymore. Um, no. But what do you guys think? Some people still do it. Um, last time, I, last time I went to Suzuki Ali Tenshik event, you know, they had their little cardboard box uh, for the presents and stuff. Uh, so I kind of, so I kind of looked in. You know, there's some presents, and some of them they were attached to the fan. <laughs> yeah, don't look. I, I, I didn't try. Okay, I didn't, I didn't intentionally look into see what's going on there, but like I, I glanced, and you know, there's some gifts where like there's a letter attached, and there are some just individual letters too. Hmm, but okay. they look like yeah. They, um, I don't know. If, of course, I don't know who wrote anything or, or, or like if it's by a guy or girl. But you know, the letters they 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 seem to look pretty cute on the other side. So maybe it's mostly from girl fans nowadays. Well, the guys do stupid stuff too when it's like a birthday thing. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's so, interesting. So, so, like those do exist. I I mean like. That, but that was for Idy's birthday. Do you think they do it outside of birthdays? I mean, I, I could see them doing it for a birthday because that's kind of like a special thing. Right. Uh, oh, yeah. Or maybe like a... Because uh... I, I think a lot of uh, Mono fans wrote letters for after their graduation announcement. And oh, they really? left it in her... Yeah. Or I, I was reading... I don't know how many people did it, but I think some uh, wrote letters. Oh. And dropped it off in her box during the, the summer tour. Oh, cool. Um... Maybe it's only reserved for a special occasion nowadays. I don't know. Or I think people are just um. There has to be some people that still does it. They yeah. just don't announce it online. Say, hey, I wrote a letter. Right. Right. Yeah. So what's well, the point plus, of telling people? Yeah. Plus, you know, people nowadays they don't know how to write anymore. <laughs> you can print a letter. Well, I will say it's a <laughs> lot easier to type Japanese than it is to write by hand. Yes. Yeah. So I wouldn't hold that against them. It's still, still though, um, having an actual letter in your hand is more intimate. Right, it does. It does have a lot more meaning because it shows you put a lot more time into it than just like typing some stuff on a keyboard. Yeah, that's true. Um, but interesting thing, towards the end of the thread, the discussion kind of got off topic and they were talking about... So for the people who did send fan letters in, who are still and may have sent in the past, like... Um, did you ever get responses? Or, or was it just kind of like a, a nothing, like a one-way thing? And um, so one guy said, I never got one from anyone in Betty Cute ever, uh, but I got one from the 6th gen and Fukumura and Suzuki. I assume that's Kano. 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 Yeah. Probably. Probably. Yeah. Um, which is kind of interesting. Dude, this guy's Huge DD. <laughs> he writes to a lot of different girls. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's just Max DD just trying to maybe, get a response. 
Yeah, maybe that's what he was trying to do. <laughs> Write yeah. a letter to every girl. Write in volume, so hopefully you get one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's, that's kind of cool, but like, I don't have that much stuff to say to every girl. Yeah. Like, unless you write the same exact thing to... Maybe that's why I did get a reply. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, the girls are comparing, it's like, wait, our letters are exactly the same. <laughs> this sounds so generic. Lame. No yeah, reply. It's actually a copied. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> print it, print it, print like 20 letters and then just um, use the pen to sign it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like those corporate or like letters. Stamp it or something. Stamp your yeah. name. Yeah. Oh, it's not man. The visual, man. So cheating. Uh, and then another person said um, uh, further down that uh, they asked Aika about this a lot and one of uh, someone he, this person knows uh, actually got a response from Aika quite a bit so that's pretty cool. I, I can imagine Aika responding a lot um, yeah. since she has so much free time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sad. Oh, I'm so sorry sad. Aika. Um, <laughs> One yeah. one interesting thing I remember reading actually about this in the thread was uh, one of the guys like because when you write these letters it's kind of like it can build up a lot of pressure or stress or something like if you keep thinking about if you're gonna get a response so when this yeah. guy writes letters to the girls he purposely does not leave a return address so he knows there's no way there's gonna get a response uh -huh. so once he mails it in it's just kind of like out of his mind he's like doesn't have to worry about it I kind of like that that's kind of cool yeah. Yeah. yeah, but a lot of people goes in with the mentality they want to reply. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, he would want one, but he also doesn't want the stress thinking about if he would get one. Yeah. He doesn't want to disappoint himself. Something yeah. like that. Or, or be cool. a failure. <laughs> it's a, it's a good way to avoid rejection, but at the same time, like, you you're never, never going to get a response. Yeah. So much pressure. So, I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I guess if you don't ever try for it, you would never get rejected. Yeah, that's, that's... Now thinking about it, it's kind of that even like... You never lose if you never try, yeah. That's, that's this so, guy's... I don't know. So all the kids listening, don't gamble. What? Well, I... <laughs> what? Okay. If you don't ever try, you will never lose something like that. Well, yeah, I was actually thinking that, uh, you know, the people got responses, so they, they all wrote their um, return mail. Yeah, just like but, a normal but... letter. But do they mail the letters in, or do they drop them into boxes? Cause... Uh, you mail them in, yeah. The dropping uh, in the boxes, I think... I don't know if you would write your return address on that. I guess you could. Yeah, I was thinking... You could write it inside of the letter, maybe. But then the manager's... That's kind of awkward, isn't it? It's like... From here's my address. S here's or, my or, address. Or you can <laughs> enclose um, an envelope with pre-written address on it, I don't know. <laughs> Get, include like a prepaid envelope so they can return yes. it easier. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's, I don't know, man. That's that'd be kind of cool know. if someone does that. But all right, I will try that next time. Yeah, go for it. Get like a it's professional like business envelope. Get that like the FedEx one with the yeah yeah pre-made um envelope with the shipping number already in <laughs> <Yeah>. place, <laughs> so you know when it's coming back. Yeah, I get a tracking oh, number on it man. so you can see if it ever gets sent. Oh man, okay. Or, received, or who received it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That'd be pretty cool. I'll get, a, I'll get a, like, a letter back from the manager. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. Alright, um, I'll try that. Last thing, it's something that I guess it's kind of obvious and we've kind of seen from the blogs of these girls is that um, it seems to be there's a schedule for picking up these um, letters as well as gifts and it seems to be on a schedule about every one to three months they let a, the pile of whatever you send to the girls build up and then the manager would just give them all to the girls uh, in one big lump and you can kind of like whenever you see the girls blog there's like oh I got a bunch of fan letters and birthday presents and stuff um, from you know, like my manager today and then it's like a huge pile of stuff and so I guess I'm guessing fans like recognize their own thing, their own letter that they sent in. If they had some characteristic, you know, color design or something on in there, they're like, yeah. "Oh, I guess I sent that like three months ago," they, and she just got it or something. So, yeah, right. I can see why. I, I can see. I can understand why they do the time delay because, um, well, first the managers they want to check through everything first. I don't uh, think they actually check through everything. I don't think they open the letters. Oh, okay, but. Well, 
the packages huh. they do. The packages, yeah, but the oh, yeah, yeah. letters probably. So there's not. that. But also, you know, if if I was the manager, I would want to have a time delay just so that um, like the girls wouldn't know which guy gave what to them. Like for example, what? if you went to it, if you went to like a handshake event and you're like, oh, I I got this something something for you later, uh, and and you 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 find it later today. I don't know. The managers might might want to avoid that. Um, for what? Shoot, I don't know how to. I think people already right. do say that, and the girls are just like, "Oh, thank you. I'll check it out." Yeah, yeah. exactly. I know Reyna's like that. She's like, "Oh, thanks. Uh, buy me some <laughs> chips thought, or buy me some sandals." <laughs> uh, oh, um, it's different though. Yeah, at um, handshake is where and since the, uh, those other ones, I think the girls get them um, on the day, like when oh, they leave, they, they take them home with maybe. them. Maybe. Because uh, okay. um, I remember reading on the blogs that uh, Lena said. So it's like, oh, I wrote this. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wrote this uh, earlier today. You guys already gave me all the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Man, we're, we're like the genies. The what? We're what? like the genies. They can just write, oh, I want this. Uh, and they get it. Well, so far, only Rain has been doing it, and she's done it like a couple times already. And well, I think she's smart. <laughs> she is pretty smart. She gets so much free stuff. She got socks. Chips, uh, yeah. headphones, you know. Yeah. I don't think she got shoes though. No, not what? shoes yet. Yeah, we can't buy shoes if we don't know her sizes. Yeah. Uh, she told us her no. size. It was a, sp oh. a small 15 or something. Is it? Wow. Uh, well, because when she was trying to buy those sandals and it was sold out, she was like, Oh, right, that one. Yeah. Anyone want to buy it for me? Here's my size. Uh, <laughs> I don't think anybody can find it. I don't. It's probably hard to find. I don't know. Yeah. Um, either way, it's just smart. Yeah, it's interesting stuff. Yep. Moving on. Yep. Later. Uh, last topic of today. We have a, <laughs> a very funny observation from some of the <laughs> fans. Yeah. Um, so it's the uh, start of the month right now. And usually at the Hollow shops, the physical store and the online store, uh, the birthday girl of this month will um, get her birthday goods released at the beginning, beginning of the month. And uh, Mia's birthday, which is uh, August 25th, so she gets her birthday goods released this week. But uh, apparently, uh, all her goods are already pulled up the shelves. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. And Mia's it's not graduating. It's sold out. Oh, oh, no. No. <laughs> oh, no, not that. And it's not because it's sold out. It's because... She um, she's uh, she's turning twenty this year, but uh, for some reason, all her goods say she's turning nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> that makes total sense. Maybe she wants to be nineteen forever. Yeah. 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 And of course, she wrote the goods. <laughs> she wrote the messages on the goods. It's not. She wrote it herself. Yeah. Is that yeah. It's not. She it's not wrote printed. it wrong. <laughs> So it's her, her fault and the company's fault and the manager and whoever double checked it. Which yep, means so they obviously don't double check it. They don't read it at all. It's like, oh, whatever, it looks fine. Yeah, that's good. Apparently, until it got to the shop, somebody at the shop realized it was wrong. But it was already too late, and all the goods already been printed. They have to pull it off once. It was, it's way too late that they even put it on display, and some people had bought it that somebody realized it was wrong. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Uh, so let me, we have a picture of it. Yeah. I'm going to show it on the screen real quickly. So if you can see here, someone snuck a picture of the wall in the Hollow Shop, and it yep. says, I'm turning 19. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Awesome. This is, if you can get a copy of this picture, it's like the most rare item for this year. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty and, epic. Um, just, just for your information, this isn't a picture that they repeated from last year, or they just, oh, oh forgot and took out last year's stuff to right. um, sell. If you go on the Hello Project website, uh, Hello, Pro Hello Project shop website, uh, you'll see the this month's uh, birthday girls goods listed. It's in the same style. Um, it's written in the same style and with the same frame and everything. And um, her hair uh, in the picture also matches with um, some of the most um, recent pictures that um, when berries appeared on magazines and some of the other offshot pictures you can buy. So yeah. it's definitely a picture of this year. 
and so it's a it's a truly big mistake on everybody's part. Yeah, and and the message wasn't written last year. That's the message is different. No, 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 no. Right. no. It's all yeah. this year. It's all new. It's so, pretty awesome for so, me, yeah, though. Yeah. If you can find this photo somewhere, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, just buy yeah. it, man. It's gonna be the most awesome thing ever. Yeah, and, and, and also like yeah. it, if you don't know, you know, turning twenty is a huge thing in Japan. Yeah, I don't it, know how they make the, uh, manage to make this mistake. Yeah, you 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 would go through a ceremony of turning auto. You know, you you can start drinking, you can start driving or something like that. You know, it, it it's a huge deal. So for her to get it. Funny. <laughs> no, she's yeah. just giving people people um hint that she doesn't want to. She grow never wants to cross that line. Yeah, she's like, I'm 19 forever. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be awesome. Yeah, so, so maybe that was on purpose. It'd be if like you know how they go through the ceremony at 20, the coming of age ceremony. Yeah. Like, and they also usually take pictures of, like in a yukata or so, like a kimono or something. Yeah, yeah. It'd be funny if she wrote the 19 on that. For that ceremony picture, oh, if they that'd saw be that awesome. series, <laughs> that'd be so awesome. That'd be uh, like you'd have to space out pretty big to not realize that it's your ceremony picture for twenty twenty turning twenty, and you still write nineteen on it. That's right. <laughs> that'd be awesome. Thank you for coming to my oh. ceremony. I'm happy to become nineteen now. <laughs> yeah. Come to my ceremony so, next um, year again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One, one more year till I'm out. Oh man. So if you're interested in buying, um. The fixed photo, <laughs> the new one, that's a replacement of this wrong one. It should come out sometime next week. <laughs> right. And if you bought the old one, um, they say that you can go back for exchange, but you would be stupid to do that. To yeah, that's it. that'd be wasting a limited edition item. Yeah. That's so rare. It'd I want awesome. one. <laughs> I know. I want one too. <laughs> yeah. Misprint, man. You don't get that too often. No, yeah. Color project. <laughs> Again, it's not just a misprint. It's, it's a mis-message that she wrote. That's great. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she was... Yeah. I mean, like, I guess you assume she was actively thinking about her birthday, since it's a birthday message. Yeah. And then she wrote 19 instead of 20. She's like, maybe I'm she was... still 19 right now when <laughs> yeah. I'm writing this. <laughs> I guess that counts. Or maybe she wrote it yeah. like, so far back that... I don't know. She wrote it before she turned 19. Maybe. So like that would year. be wrong. <laughs> that would be wrong. I know they. Uh, I know they asked the girls to write stuff months in advance, but not. I don't think in a year in advance. That would <laughs> yeah. Make sense at all. yeah. Who knows? Okay. So. So. so um, that that ends this episode of Takamura Hatana. Um. Hope you enjoy the topics. Uh, they're pretty interesting, I think. I don't know. A lot of good stuff to talk about. Uh, if yep. you want to continue talking about any of these topics that we discussed on this show, why don't you head over to our forum, uh, forum.takamario.net, and start a thread, if there isn't one already, uh, about any of these four topics. Um, and hopefully you guys will look forward to our next show. We bring more threads to you and uh, talk about more stupid stuff. Yeah, Yay. and if, if you like the show, um, tell your friends about us so that we can. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, and yeah, and you can miss. <laughs> you can check our the shows that you miss on. They're all on YouTube. Like the videos because that help. Right. Getting a that, better spot. Right. On. Yeah. So just do the things you should do. Yes. So thanks for watching. See you. Bye. Bye.